Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who have never been here before, my name is Raquel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. Any way that you support it or, you know, like it, share, subscribe, however you do, I'm very, very um, grateful for your support. This will be a weekend pile pick or pick a pile. Um, I was going to do it on my phone because it's better sound quality. That's what I did for the first two weeks of November. Um, but I ran out of storage space on my phone. So I have to go through it and clear it out before I can um, put new, uh, record new content on it. So if the sound quality is a little off in this one, I apologize. Okay, so I've got three piles down here for you to pick from. What I want you to do is to close your eyes, take a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and do it however many times as you feel possible, as you feel like you need to, in order to calm yourself down and clear out your mind. Once you are perfectly calm and your mind is perfectly clear, open your eyes and pick the pile that jumps out at you the most. Or piles, you might have one or two. And this is what the weekend will have in store for you, okay? Um, if, if something else is gonna say, I forgot what it is, maybe I'll get back into it. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to bring the camera down so you can look at the piles. I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause the video um, so then that way you can really look at the piles and then um, we'll get into them. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So go ahead and pick the pile that most screams to you. Um, I'll let you pause the video. So this is for those of you who picked pile one. There is no hidden, well, there is a message on the back of this one, but I didn't solely base my reading on the back of the message. So I'm not reading that. <laughs> this is just for the people who picked pile one. And I'll tell you what, this pile has so many cards in it. Like you guys got the most cards um, out of all three piles. So your reading might take a while <laughs> for me to do. Um, all right. So your overall energy, this is crazy here. All right. So we've got the world. We have a woman holding a heart and we have all tied up. Normally I just get one energy for each pile for the weekend. This is a lot of energy coming at you if you picked pile one. If you picked pile one, <laughs> oh my God. All right, so um, the world. This is having tons of opportunity at your disposal. This is um, choices. This is about choices. Um, Having a lot of options and having them make the right choices. This could also be that you have a lot of people in your life, in your life, and they all must have prizes. Is the message okay? This is the card. What you got for the overall message of the reading? They must all have prizes, okay? So this could be a lot of people asking things from you. Um, wanting your time, wanting your energy, wanting your help, wanting your advice. Um, so that with this world energy, it's like everybody's at you. Everybody wants you this weekend. Okay. Um, you need to uh, even out your energy and use it wisely. We have a woman holding the heart. So if you are a woman, this could mean that this weekend you have a lot of self-love for you and you have a lot of love to give. Now, if you are a man, this could this could mean a woman is coming in to give you that that um that gift of love or that generosity. Okay, um, th it doesn't it doesn't you know you can put your energies wherever 
it needs to resonate with you because I'm just reading energies, okay? So you could be a man with this divine feminine energy, okay? You could be a female with this divine feminine energy. If you're a male that is more female, this could definitely be you in your self-love, loving yourself, being able to give more love, okay? I am non-gender <laughs> non specific here, okay? It's all about energy. So this could be someone coming in to offer you love or someone giving you a loving helping hand. This could be you giving somebody else a loving helping hand. A lot of people a loving helping hand. This could be a decision in love as well um, that you might have to make between two people because remember, we do have a lot of options and opportunities here. This is what the world card is about. And it's also about people. So it's like a lot of people expanding your social network. All right. And then we've got all tied up. Two and three is five, which is challenge. And then we got four and four, which is eight, which also kind of basically almost means the same thing. It's like having to go get that breakthrough. All right. So all tied up. Well, gee, I wonder why you're all tied up. You've got... You've got a lot of opportunities coming at you, a lot of people coming at you, everybody wanting your time, everybody wanting your love, everybody wanting your energy, okay? All must have prizes is your overall message. So this is a lot of people wanting a lot from you this weekend, okay? They want your time, they want your energy, they want your love, and it puts you in a position where you're all tied up. You need to make the right choices this weekend and not give so much of your energy and yourself to a ton of different people. Because if you do, by the end of the week, by the end of the weekend, of course, you know where you're going to be at. You're going to be depleted. All right. So use your time and your energy wisely. All right. So the tarot cards that I pulled, usually I only pull one card, but this time it came out too. So we've got the four of cups right here and if you look at this deck he's actually looking at that four of cups there's all these cups underneath that he's that are depleted and he's looking for that um that cup that that can fill his depletion okay so this is telling me right here that you're going to feel emotionally drained by the end of the weekend okay so you really need to um watch who you're giving your cup to who you're helping out who you're giving your energy to because you do not want to be drained by the end of the weekend and it's saying that that's what's going to happen so watch who you give your time and your energy to um we also got the hermit and it's in its upright position. And the hermit always speaks to me of needing time for yourself, needing time to, to, to nurture and take care of yourself. And I feel like this woman holding the heart, that's what it's saying. It's like, now you need to take some time to nurture yourself, okay? You don't have to give all to everybody all the time. This weekend, you should take time to nurture yourself, all right? Take some time out to yourself. Don't give too much of yourself this weekend because you're going to be feeling depleted. All right, so we're going to break this down a little bit more. I don't think I need to because Spirit gave me a ton of cards here. But just to be on the safe side, because I always do it with every pile, let's see if I can pull some cards out to um, clarify this a little bit better. Spirit. My soul family. What is this about for the people who picked pile one? Can we make this a little bit clearer, break it down a little bit better? Please and thank you, my soul family. Yeah, because I feel like if you give too much, it's like by the end of the weekend, it's like, oh, man, you're just looking at that one thing, that one cup for yourself, you know? And I feel like when you're looking for that one cup for yourself, more people are going to come in and say, hey, can I, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Don't do it. 
you need to take some time to yourself this weekend. You need to fill, fill and replenish your cup because if you don't fill and replenish your cup, then you're not going to be able to give it to anybody else. Okay. You need to, um, <laughs> you need to rest. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me come through the computer screen. <laughs> I'm just joking. But you need to rest, all right? One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Alrighty, let's see what we got for you. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. So there's some confidence here. There's some confidence. Maybe um, people are seeing you as the queen of wands. This also could be a fire sign um, in your vicinity. It could be an Aries um, or any other fire sign. But this card to me screams of Aries. And it could be that this person um, is, is wanting a lot from you. Um, wanting, some of you are going to be in a relationship with an Aries this coming weekend, um, or, you know, it could just be a friendship, but it's like, they want a lot from you and they're asking a lot of you. All right. Um, and this is saying you need to say to them, um, you know, I really don't have the energy or the time right now. There's some things I need to get done for myself. Um, I really don't feel like you're the queen of wands energy here because this is like people asking so much of you. So it's like, um, well, you could be the queen of wands energy. It could be that you're very confident in whatever it is that you do. And that's why you're in high demand. That's why you're in high demand. Okay. But you got to learn when to say no. We've got temperance. So patience, calm, calmness, you know, um, uh, gathering all the facts, um, really pouring some time and energy into yourself instead of into other people, because it's very important to nurture yourself. We've got the Knight of Wands, so, or the Knight of Swords. So this could be a Gemini. Um, if this person has Aries and Gemini in their chart, uh, it could be the same person, but it's like this person's bringing you new information or you're bringing new information to somebody else. Um, but it's some type of information that's coming in fast. I feel like this stands for everybody. Everybody that wants your attention. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so you're feeling burdened. You're feeling you're feeling taken down by the end of the weekend because it's like you're listening to everybody, you're pouring your time, you're pouring your patience, you're pouring your energy into them. You're all tied up, you're answering everybody's call here and you're not paying attention to yourself. Okay, but the reason why they're asking is because you have this confidence, this bold confidence in whatever it is that you do. And it's like, that's why you're in high demand right now. But you need to take some time. It's and very important to take some time out to yourself um, in order to um, be able to give more to others. Okay. Not everybody needs a damn prize. Not everybody needs a damn trophy, okay? You do, though, because how are you supposed to give out prizes and trophies if you're not if you're not replenished? You know what I mean? So take time for you, all right? Make each day count is your quote. So, you know, make each day count for your best ability, okay? It's okay to give to people. Because that's how, that's one of the, that's how we um, boost ourselves, right? By giving to other people. But, 
but um, make sure that you're replenishing yourself. Okay, that's that's how you make each day count. All right. Your advice is spirit fox. Trust your talents. Ugh, talents in changing times. Now, for some of you, this could also mean that you need to trust in yourself more. And it's, I feel like for some of you, it's like you're giving to everybody else because you don't feel like you don't feel like you have anything worth giving. So it's like you're do, do, doing for everybody. I don't know. Spirit, what? Ah, okay. So I feel like this is many different loved ones coming to you, asking you for favors, asking you um, to give, 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 give to them. And it's like they got you all tied up and you give to them because um, you feel like that's your self-worth right there. You feel like you are worthy when you're giving to somebody else. Um, and yeah, you have some good talent. Um, they're coming to you for specific reasons okay because they know that you're good you're either good at giving advice or you're good at doing this or you're good at doing that and they're coming to you and it's like your confidence in your own self-worth is sinking because you're putting all of your self-worth into the things that you do for everybody else instead of putting it in for you know, your self-worth into what you do for your own self. If you, if you get what I mean, I don't know if that, if that'll resonate or not for some of you choose love over fear. Don't be afraid to tell somebody no, because your self-love is, is more important. I know that sounds horrible. I know that sounds selfish, but it's true. Your self-love is more important. And um, finding self-love in doing things for other people is not a good way. That's false self-love right there. Because if you love yourself, you will understand when your energies are depleted. And you will understand that um, sometimes you have to take a break. Sometimes you have to step back. Okay? Sometimes you have to trust in yourself that people aren't going to like leave you or get mad at you because you're not doing something for them. All right. So trust in yourself, trust in your own self love. All right. And in, in these, in these times where people are like, I want, I want, I want, give, 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 say, no, I, I need to do this for myself. Okay. And we're already at 18 and 21 seconds, 23 now, 24. Um, <laughs> but you had a lot of cards to decipher. So I hope that helped. I hope that resonated. And if there's enough, if you picked piles two or three, I will see you in those um, messages. If not, and this is where you are leaving me, I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> pile two. So if you've picked pile two, this is your reading. Sorry, we're already at like 1903, but group one had the most cards I've ever seen fly out so, in a pile pick. So, all right, pile two. Yours is pretty cut and dry here. Uh, one and eight is nine. So you're reaching that plateau. All right. And we've got anxiety. So some of you might be feeling nervous, anxious this weekend. Um, it's like it comes out of nowhere. It's like you know something's coming and it's like you're really nervous and really anxious about it. Um I feel like there's a storm brewing somewhere. 
And it's and and I feel like that's that's one of the reasons why you're anxious is because you can feel this storm brewing. Um, find the lesson, discover the purpose in the situation, trust that you are learning. So a lot of you have anxiety about something that's going to happen this weekend or something that has happened and it's giving you tons of anxiety. All right. But there is a lesson to be learned here. There is no reason to get anxious about it. Um, every, every storm has its clear, you know, has its clearing. Uh, Storms do not last forever, and when you go into the brightness of the sun, you come in with new, renewed sense of um, of self, of life, of, you know, you come out a different person. So there's a lesson to be learned there. Um, whatever is giving you anxiety over this weekend, you really need to take a cl close look at. Ask, what is the lesson I'm being taught here? What is the lesson I need to find here? Why am I so anxious about this? Um, because I feel like for some of you, it might be internally. There's an internal reason why you're reacting to the situation. So you need to find the lesson there and find out why you're reacting the way that you're reacting to the situation. Um, and with the tarot cards, we've got the seven of swords. So the seven of swords in reference to the anxiety and finding the lesson, I feel like some of you might be feeling like someone is going to, um, betray you. You might have that, that, that gut urge or that gut feeling that someone is betraying you or stealing from you or, or doing something that they're not supposed to be doing to you. All right. Someone's being sneaky. You're afraid of gossiping. You're afraid of like back, you know, talking behind your back or whatever. But I feel like with the seven of swords here, see how he's climbing into the window to escape or, it's like he's got all these swords and he's climbing into the window here. Now, when a thief, when a thief steals from you, they do not come back to the scene of the crime with, with the objects they've stole, right? So I feel like this card is saying that whoever was sneaky before that is back in your life now, I feel like you can trust them. Um, but there was a lesson to be learned there. And it's like the reason why it's coming back up this weekend is, is because have you learned the lesson that you needed to learn from this? Okay. I don't feel like someone's going to betray you this weekend. I feel like you have anxiety because you feel like they are. But this person's returning to the scene of the crime. It's like this person is bringing up what had happened in the past. And like this person is coming back and saying, I'm sorry, here's what I did to you here. You can have it back. I don't want it anymore. I don't want the burden anymore. Okay. So whoever has wronged you, I feel like is coming back to say that they're sorry. And I feel like this gives you anxiety and, but there's a lesson to be learned here. I'm not saying that you have to forgive them, but it is better for your own spiritual and personal growth to do that. And it lets go of any baggage that um, you may be carrying for that person. All right. So it's better for yourself to forgive. It doesn't make what they did right, but it makes it so that you, they no longer have control over you anymore. What they did no longer has control over you. That's what forgiveness is about. All right, so let's break this down with the tarot and see what this is all about. Um, spirits, my guy, what is the Seven of Swords about for those who picked Pile 2? What is the Seven of Swords about in regards to anxiety and find the lesson? Please and thank you, my soul family. Yeah, I really feel like this is somebody from your past that's coming back to um, apologize. They really feel bad. Um, and it's giving you anxiety. 
it's making you think about um the things that, the things that they did and it's like for some of you it causes chest pain it really does um this is this could be a past lover uh that's coming back or it could be a family member like an uncle joe or something like that um there's a lesson to be found here so when this person comes back hear this person out because there is a lesson to be learned all right one more shuffle and then i'll cut and we'll see what the seven of swords is about all right so the bottom of the deck is the king of swords and the king of swords is all about knowledge all right, this guy knows what's going on. This guy um, collects data, data. This could be an Aquarius that might be coming back to you to say that they're, that they're sorry, or this could be your energy. You finally finding out or learning some truth here. All right, and um, you know, the King of Swords, He's ruled by Saturn. Oh, well, we've got Saturn in the background right there. Um, this could have been somebody you worked with or you put a lot of work into, a relationship that you put a lot of work into. Um, I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah. Um, I feel like this person is here to cause you to go into some sort of transformation because we've got the fool that comes right after the king. So that's like taking the risk. Um, we've got the two of wands that's knowing the right decision to make and making it. And then we've got the page of pentacles. So the offer of a new start of a new thing. And I really feel like this is somebody, this could be a job. This could be a job, very well be a job that's coming back into your life like a like a, an old boss calling you up and saying hey can you please come back i'm sorry that we let you go i'm sorry that you know what i mean um for some of you that's what it could be uh but there's some sort of new offer here and this is all about transformation this is about transforming yourself into that new person finding the lesson here so that you can grow all right. Um, with the King of Swords there, uh, King of Swords is very strategic, knows how to plan, um, will fight with his, will fight on the battle line with his um, soldiers. Okay. But this can also be somebody that is very arrogant very conceited so i mean take it how it resonates with you i feel like that's the person that's coming back all right so let's see what we got here we got justice so yeah this is like karmic justice coming in for you um this is you finally getting to the truth of the matter this is also could be a decision some type of decision that you have to make that you're having a hard time making so I feel like when this person comes back in, I feel like this person's going to offer you something and it's like a decision that you have to have to make. We've got the Ace of Swords. You know, there's a lot of swords here and um, Justice is a Libra card. The King of Swords is an Aquarius card and the Ace of Swords, you know, we've got a lot of, we got, and we got the Seven of Swords. So it's like, this is, you know, for some of you watching this, you might be an air sign, but this is definitely an air sign coming back. This is an air sign coming back and wanting um, forgiveness. This is a new way of, of thinking. This is finding the lesson. And then nine of cups, so happiness. Happiness can arrive from this. Feeling happiness, feeling abundant, feeling fruitful, um, having all your emotions in check. With this new beginning, I feel like this is a new beginning with this person that has done you wrong. 
Um, you don't have to trust them fully, but you should find the lesson in it. Um, I feel like karmic for some of for some of you out there. I feel like their karmic stuff has already been dealt to them, and they have learned the lesson on why they did you wrong. So they're coming back now to apologize, and they feel bad, and they they but they truly feel bad. Do you understand? What I mean, they truly feel bad for hurting you. They've gone through their karmic justice. And for some of you out there, you're the one that went through the karmic justice, all right? And that's why you're having all this anxiety because it's like you want to go and ask this person for forgiveness, um, but because you have found the lesson in, in the crappy things that you did. Um, and I feel like they will give you a second chance because we've got the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. But I feel like um, for some of you, now if you're not the one that did the dirty, you know, they did the dirty and they got their karmic justice, all right? And it's a decision that's going to be hard for you to make. Okay, so let's see what your, okay, so we have take responsibility for your actions. This is why I think that it's some of you. Some of you are feeling guilty and you're anxious and you found the lesson in why you did this to the person or why that person, you know what I mean? And it's like you need to take responsibility for your actions. We're all human. We all mess up. We all do something in our life that we feel guilty for. Guilt is a common human emotion. Everybody has done something like that. This is saying take responsibility for your actions. Don't be so um, upset over it. You know, learn the lesson from it. All right? And, and own up to it. Take responsibility for it. Okay? Once you do that, it's like you reset your mind and you have a more happy and abundant um, an emotionally fulfilling life. Okay. Take time to reflect is your advice. Now with this card, it's all about going inside and seeing what it is that you did wrong. What it is, can you fix? What is it that you need to work on? What is it that you need to let go? Well, I would say that this weekend you need to let go of some guilt that you're harboring. Everybody hurts somebody sometimes, okay? We all make mistakes. Um, you need to find the lesson in this. Stop being so anxious and upset about it. Really take some time to reflect on it, okay? And then ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness, okay? I feel like, um, I feel like this King of Swords, I feel like it's you needing to put in the um, effort of soul searching and finding what to say and knowing what to do. But in order to do that, you got to take some time to reflect, reflect on what you did because you did something. Hey, I, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I read it like I see it. If this doesn't resonate with you, if this is somebody, if this is not you, if you haven't hurt anybody and you've picked this pile, this is what they are going through right now. The person that hurt you. Do you understand? So if they don't come back this weekend, they're going to probably come back next week and after they've taken their time to reflect. Okay, like I said, you can play these. These are just energies. I'm just reading energies here. All right, so learn from your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. That's the other quote that is given. We have take responsibility for your actions and learn from your mistakes. Okay, so whoever picked this pile did something. And I'm not judging. We all do something. We all do something that hurts somebody. All right. It's how we process what we did. Did we learn our lesson? Um, do we feel bad? How can we stop feeling bad? What can we do to make our mistakes right? This is how you grow. This is how you mature. 
All right. Owning up to what you did. Really, truly feeling sorry for what you did and finding the lesson in it. All right. This is going to put you in a new mind frame and this is going to make you a lot more happier. This is going to make you more emotionally abundant. Okay. Um, saying you're sorry, admitting you're wrong. That's another thing with the king of sorts. When he does something wrong, he owns up to it. He admits it. He doesn't bullshit anybody about it. He admits it. All right. And that's what they're saying here. All right. So whatever you did, there's no use stressing. There's no use getting anxiety about it. Find the lesson in it. Own up to your mistake. Take some time. Reflect. You know, learn from the mistake. Take, go back to the person. Ask for forgiveness and take responsibility for it. All right. Well, I hope you had a... <laughs> hope you have a great weekend. I see you're going to do a lot of soul reflecting here. If it's not you, it's the person that wronged you. Okay, this is what they're going through. That's why you were being asked to pick this pile. So you can see what they are going through this weekend. All right. Well, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. And if you didn't pick pile three, I will see you later. Bye. Okay, so if you picked pile three, this is the reading for you. All right, pile three. So, your energy. Door to romance. Three and three is six. Six is like a small victory here. So, the six in numerology is all about victory, small victory. Okay, um, especially material. Uh, so the door to romance, this could be somebody coming in for you, um, for others of you, if you're already in a relationship, this can be like a new lease on your relationship, a new spark in your relationship. Um, for those of you who aren't in a relationship, it also can mean that you need to find your own self love before you can call in your soulmate. So I will know more. As we go on. All right. So uncertainty. Choose who you will become is your overall message. This with the door to romance is telling me that in order to open that door of romance, in order to walk through it, to call in, <laughs> you need to call in your soulmate. And how you do that is by becoming more certain with who you are. Okay, because right now you're not clear on who you are. You're might you might be like low in the self love department. So you need to really um, decide. Take some time and reflect. What do you like? What don't you like? What kind of person do you want in your life? What kind of person don't you want in your life? Okay, so if you're single and you pick this pile. This reading's for you. Um, if you aren't single and you pick this pile, you're in a relationship, it's saying that in your own relationship, you're uncertain of who you are. So you really need to get back to yourself. Um, start doing stuff that you used to do before you had the relationship. Really get to re-know yourself over again. All right? And for those of you who are single, this is about, you know, you really needing to find yourself first before you can call that perfect me in. All right. We have temperance. We have temperance for the, um, for the tarot card. Now, temperance is all about patience. It's about putting in the work, putting in the energy, um, it's also about, you know, it's the card of Sagittarius. So it's about, you know, gaining knowledge, gaining knowledge about yourself, um, gaining higher knowledge, really um, exploring your beliefs, your belief systems, what you want, what you believe. Um, you need to have all that in place before you find the perfect one for you. Because if you don't know exactly what you want, um, what you love, 
what you what you will stand for, what you won't stand for. If you don't have firm grips on that before you get into a relationship, it can be take it can be detrimental. You need to know all of that before you get into a relationship, before you call in the perfect person for you. All right. Um, for those of you that are in a relationship, have patience with it. Work on yourself. See what it is you want. See what it is you need. Okay. And then after you're secure and done with your, you know, your self-love and you've really worked on yourself, then try working on your relationship. And if it doesn't work, then that person isn't right for you. All right. But if it does work, then that person is perf that person is perfect for you because that person can grow with you and you guys can grow together and keep changing. All right. So this this card right here is about patience. It's about pouring um, everything that you know into a situation, everything that you believe into a situation. Um, it's about finding those beliefs. All right, so let's break this down with the tarot and see how this relates to the door to romance and uncertainty. Spirits, my soul family, how does temperance relate to the door to romance and uncertainty in the spread? What is the message here we're trying to give group three? Please and thank you, my soul family. And, you know, I know it feels like you've been waiting a lot. If you're single, I know it feels like you've been waiting a long time to find that perfect someone. Or maybe there is a couple of people or maybe that one person that you're looking at in love, but you're uncertain about them because you're uncertain still about yourself. That's why. So you really need to take some time to know yourself. Take your, yourself out on dates. You know, really get to know yourself. Ask yourself questions. Do I like this? Do I like that? What do I believe? You know, really take the time to get to know yourself. You need to. Everybody thinks, oh, I know myself because I've been with myself since the time of my birth. Yeah, but do you know your deep self? what you truly, truly, truly want, what you truly, truly, truly desire. Most people don't. Um, it takes them a while to learn. So one more shuffle and then I'll cut. That's why a lot of people get into marriages and stuff like that. And then they end up getting divorced because they end up finding themselves later on in life. And they're like, oh, well, this person doesn't match what I want and what I truly am and who I truly want to be. That's why divorce is so popular. It's because people get into these relationships without even knowing their full, full self. Okay? Because they're uncertain with themselves. All right. So we got page of wands here. So this is a new love offer. This is a new love relationship. This is somebody offering their romance to you. If you are in a relationship, this is like your partner wanting to rekindle things this weekend. All right. Um, but I feel like you're still uncertain about it. I do. I feel like you're uncertain about it. They're saying have patience. Um, your partner will have patience with you. But if you want this thing to work out, if you want this door to romance to to stay open for you, really know what you want, speak it to your partner, speak your truth to your partner, okay, know what you want, speak it, and watch the passion fly, <laughs> okay, judgment, judgment, this is like divine intervention, so there's some, um, there's some spiritual work going on here with you and your relationship. It's like the angels and, and all your angels and all your guides and stuff like that are working with your partner's angels and guides. And it's like um, these two should be together, but one is still uncertain about it. So um, 
you're going to have to do the soul work. They can only put you guys together for so long. You got to do the soul work, but this is divine intervention. So something's going to happen this weekend that's going to give you like a kick in the butt or a kick in the, a boost. You know what I mean? For you to actually go forward to be a warrior. We've got Queen of Wands. So this could be your energy or this could be the person that you're dealing with. This is somebody who's confident, somebody who's bold. This could be an Aries or this could be any other fire sign, but somebody with Aries in their chart. But this is just an overall, this is a bold person. This is a person that's confident, person who's secure with themselves. So I don't think this is you. I think this is your partner. And especially since we have the page of wands right here, clarifying temperance. It's like they are ready to give you what you need. You just got to speak what you need. And I feel like right now you feel uncertain of what it is that you need. So you really need to like be by yourself for a minute. See what it is that you need. Okay. The lovers. This is a good reading. This is a really good reading. This is like rekindling, re-sparking the passion. Or if you're single, it's about, you know, that person coming in. It could be a Gemini because this is the card of Gemini. Um, but whatever the case may be, I feel like you're faded. I feel like it's faded. I do. I feel like this is divine intervention um, coming in. And, you know, I think that's supposed to be the sun in the background, but it kind of reminds me of Saturn with the way that it's sparkling. So this is something that's going to have to take some work, okay, and some trust. You're going to have to be a little more certain with who you are and a little more assertive with who you are. Speak your truth, all right? And if you're unclear about that, um, there are, of what you want, like I said, go by yourself. Ask for guidance. Ask for guidance from your angels, from your spirit team, from your soul family, whatever you call it. God, pray, you know, whatever it is that you, whoever, whatever higher force it is that you look to for guidance. Pray to them. Ask them to help you with this. Say you're uncertain of the situation. Send me some signs. And then pay attention to those signs, okay? Look for them. Okay, so then we have a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong as your overall um, advice for this reading. So, yeah, okay? Once you know your truth, once you're certain with who you are and you're certain that this is the relationship that you truly want, Hold your ground. Stand firm with your decision. All right. This is who you this is who you need to be with if you are certain. Now I can say this is who you're going to be with or who you need to be with. Who you need to be with or whatever. I can say that. Doesn't mean I'm correct. Okay, because it will not resonate with everyone. Um, well, some of you, yes, this is divine, this is faded. Others of you, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is your soulmate, dude. So you need to be with, um, certain with who you are and speak your truth to this person. Um, you need to, you need to be more certain and more comfortable with who you are and know what you want and then once you do you need to speak it you need to speak it to this person know your truth know your truth all right well i hope this helped you out and i hope your weekend goes amazing because it looks like there's some passion here but it also looks like there's some uncertainty with you so you really need to ask yourself if this is who you want, if this is who you need, if this is the right time for you guys. I feel like it is because we got the judgment card. But I'm not you. So dig deep, okay? Alrighty, well, I will see you in the next video. Bye!